May the love and peace of the Lord be with us all, as we listen to today's Gospel and Reflection. Let us now listen to the Word of God. April 3, 2024, Wednesday in the Octave of Easter. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And behold, two of them went out, on the same day, to a town named Emmaus, which was the distance of sixty stadia from Jerusalem. And they spoke to one another about all of these things that had occurred. And it happened that, while they were speculating and questioning within themselves, Jesus himself, drawing near, traveled with them. But their eyes were restrained, so that they would not recognize him. And he said to them, What are these words, which you are discussing with one another, as you walk and are sad? And one of them, whose name was Cleopar, responded by saying to him, Are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? And he said to them, What things? And they said, About Jesus of Nazareth, who was a noble prophet, powerful in works and in words, before God and all the people and how our high priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death. And they crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the Redeemer of Israel. And now, on top of all this, today is the third day since these things have happened. Then, too, certain women from among us terrified us. For before daytime, they were at the tomb, and, having not found his body, they returned, saying that they had even seen a vision of angels, who said that he is alive. And some of us went out to the tomb, and they found it just as the women had said. But truly, they did not find him. And he said to them, How foolish and reluctant in heart you are, to believe everything that has been spoken by the prophets. Was not the Christ required to suffer these things, and so enter into his glory? And beginning from Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted for them, in all the scriptures, the things that were about him. And they drew near to the town where they were going. And he conducted himself so as to go on further. But they were insistent with him, saying, Remain with us, because it is toward evening and now daylight is declining. And so he entered with them. And it happened that, while he was at table with them, he took bread and he blessed and broke it, and he extended it to them. And their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. And he vanished from their eyes. And they said to one another, Was not our heart burning within us, while he was speaking on the way, and when he opened the scriptures to us? And rising up at that same hour, they returned to Jerusalem. And they found the eleven gathered together, and those who were with them, saying, In truth, the Lord has risen, and he has appeared to Simon. And they explained the things that were done on the way, and how they had recognized him at the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How can we open our hearts to truly understand the transformative power of Jesus' teachings in our lives. And it happened that, while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way? and opened the scriptures to us. Luke 24 verses 30 to 31 Two of Jesus' disciples had been discussing the events of the past week as they walked the seven-mile journey along the road from Jerusalem to Emmaus. They previously had hoped that Jesus was the one who would redeem Israel, but then he was killed. And three days later, there were rumors of his resurrection which only left them confused. 
As they journeyed, Jesus appeared to the two disciples, but they did not recognize him at first. His identity was hidden from their eyes. Jesus listened to them and expressed sorrow at their lack of understanding, so he explained to them the teachings of Moses and the prophets and that the Messiah needed to suffer, die, and rise on the third day. As Jesus spoke, the disciples began to understand, and their hearts burned within them. Finally, in the gift of the Holy Eucharist, in the breaking of the bread, their eyes were opened to see that it was Jesus with them. Why did Jesus hide his risen presence from these disciples? It appears that he did so, because they lacked faith. They said, we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. But the crucifixion was too much for them to handle. They could not comprehend why the Redeemer had to suffer as Jesus did, so they began to doubt. Too often, we are like these disciples who are confused about matters of faith and who struggle with doubts. For that reason, we must see ourselves in the persons of these disciples as they walked the road to Emmaus. Jesus offered these disciples a wonderful gift of mercy by helping them to understand his saving act. He explained to them all that was taught in Scripture regarding him. And as these disciples listened to Jesus teach them, they slowly came to believe. We too must allow Jesus to teach us about the transforming power of his death and resurrection. We must listen attentively and allow our hearts to burn within us as we listen to his holy word. Only in this way will we come to the level of faith we need to more fully comprehend and accept the transforming power of the Paschal mystery. Reflect today upon these disciples and their need to reflect upon the Word of God so as to understand, believe, and have their eyes opened. Know that you need this same grace. You need to spend time with our Lord, immersed in His Word, listening to His voice, so that you will come to believe more fully. Allow the message of Jesus' death and resurrection to burn within you, so that you too will come to believe. Let us pray. My resurrected Lord, you appeared to these disciples who lacked faith and understanding, and gave them the gift of your holy teaching. Teach me, dear Lord, all that I must come to understand and know about you, your death, resurrection, and glorious gift of new life. May your word burn within me and lead me to a transformation of my life. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel and Reflection. We hope that our small effort gave you a bit of inspiration as you journey your day with God. Please give us a like so this will reach to as many people as possible. Again, thank you and may God bless us all.